It's time for Tune Talk. In this episode, Antelope Gap. And my name's Nistoki. I think you know what I'm about to say, Toki. This is my last episode? Yes, Toki. This is your last episode. But you said that last time. Well, this time I mean it. Unless Howard and Trish's workload decreases exponentially, I suspect that our core audience of beloved Toon Talk fans will have to continue to suffer through this witty feline repartee as a prologue to each and every episode as it requires little to no effort and takes up a substantial amount of time. Of course, a lighter workload for them means fewer cat tweets for kittens, and that benefits no one. At any rate, here's Howard and Trisha. Yeah! Hi everyone and welcome to Toon Talk. Today we're discussing a great old Texas tune I know you're going to love. Antelope Gap. One of my favorite tunes... Here's my one line. <laughs> one of my favorite tunes off of the Old Texas Fiddle, Volume 1, otherwise known as the Green CD. Even though Antelope Gap is not a particularly well-known tune, it sounds like an old chestnut. Chestnut? Like roasting on an open fire? Oh, that's a good segue. The green CD would make a great stocking stuffer. Available now at spencerandrains.com slash shop. Antelope Gap is a notch between two summits in northern Lampasas County in central Texas. The area is characterized by sloping hills and sandy loams that support grasses, open stands of live oak, mesquite, and ash juniper. Antelope herds were in abundance in the area until around 1900, at which point their numbers dropped precipitously. Perhaps they fell into the gap. <coughs> there was also a small hamlet by that name located on nearby Antelope Creek. It was established in the late 19th century, but had already begun its decline by the early 20th. The tune in question was played by one Mr. James Whatley a fiddler and luthier in Austin. I tell you what, it doesn't get any better than utterly obscure fiddle tunes being discussed by cats and watched by four people. <laughs> that are probably our chicken secretly logging in. By the way, use the code chicken login to get a discount on volume one. The tune bears a curious similarity to the second part of an old Bob Wills piece called Hoppin' Lucy. Hoppin' Lucy was a reasonably well-known tune throughout Texas and Oklahoma, perhaps due to Wills having played and recorded it. Hoppin' Lucy is essentially the same tune as Texas Quickstep, which is called Rachel in the Southeast. Oklahoma fiddler Ralph Noonan, who was recorded by Brad Leftwich, called it Ezra Hawkins' tune. Ezra Hawkins was a radio fiddler and comedian in Topeka, Kansas during the golden age of that medium. Hawkins played on WIBW Kansas Roundup and began his radio career as a laughing boy. A laughing boy was an individual whose job it was to simply laugh at jokes at the appropriate time. For our common interests here on Tune Talk, Laughing Boy is also another grand old Texas fiddle tune. Ask you, Trisha, why do we do this? Why do we even make this show? Is it our love for the music? Hmm. Well, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Next month, I promise it's going to be good. So we hope you tune in again next time 
here on Tune Talk. Where the talk is always in, in tune. tune. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.